The Tasmanian government has joined the backlash against jobs cuts at the Mercury newspaper. A rally in Hobart has gained the support of the economic minister who's planning to take his concerns to News Limited's head office in Sydney. In other Australian states, the loss of News Limited jobs has been met with a muted response, not in Tasmania. About 150 people rallied outside State Parliament over plans to shift most of the paper's sub-editing to a centralised hub in Melbourne. They're not getting rid of the jobs, they're just moving them somewhere else. Up to 20 of the newspaper's sub-editors could go. That's on top of about 14 editorial jobs that were axed last year. It's sub-editors now, it will be reporters next. It's feared the cutbacks will affect the quality and accuracy of local content produced by Tasmania's most politically influential newspaper. I'm blowed if I can see how a sub-editor in Melbourne can treat and handle a story that comes out of Hobart about the forestry debate. They would just have no idea. The rally attracted support from politicians and a promise of action. I will be writing today to, uh, to John Hardigan at News Limited to say that we will not accept your decision. I'm delighted that the community is rallying behind a newspaper. Now the campaign is called Save Our Mercury. There's nothing to save the mercury from. The mercury is a vibrant business. The fate of staff could be known next week following a News Limited budget meeting in Sydney. Fiona Blackwood, ABC News.